welcome back to CAD CAM tutorial today we are going to design a simple mold tutorial here we are going to design first our simple component then we will do the draft analysis after that we will design cavity and co for this component the bottom part is co and the upper part is cavity you can see this is the cavity so here we will design both the core and cavity in SOLIDWORKS I hope you like it so let's see how to do this in SOLIDWORKS now guys here we are going to our create our main component which is going to be used for the mold design so let's create our component any kind of component so we will choose a simple component choose top plane a sketch center rectangle and draw a rectangle let's keep this one hundred millimeter by sixty millimeter okay select your corner rectangle keep ten millimeter select all the corners okay select extruded boss base now while we are going to design any kind of mold you need the side wall should be tapered either minimum one millimeter anything minimum should be so we will keep one millimeter tapered otherwise it is it will be difficult for molding select here one degree draft or tapered or anything you can say okay now it is if you will choose this face now see it's one millimeter draft now select make sure back surface sketch normal now here we want to cut so let's choose here offset entity keep 2 millimeter select here reverse direction okay now this one we want to cut it so choose here extruded cut and keep the depth how much the thickness let's make 13 millimeter actually this should be we want bigger okay let's keep 13 millimeter and here choose draft angle 1 degree okay but we don't want edit our first make 15 degree okay now that's it now let's choose fillet keep 5 degree select this outer face and inner face ok now see it's 5 degree created now let's select the back surface a sketch normal select here corner rectangle and start from this line okay let's define this one let's make it 3 millimeter so it looks better choose your line now let's define this one keep 20 millimeter choose your mirror select full rectangle and mirrors against this vertical line that's it now again choose corner rectangle select this point let's define this one 3 millimeter ok now here what we will do select this origin point and this point coincide now it is fully defined you can see it is fully defined so let's extruded boss base here we need to select one by one now 
now here we selected all the bodies see it's going upward so let's make reverse up to next and make some offset make 3 millimeter reverse direction now you can see the preview is going from inside okay that's it now select again top face is sketch normal now here choose 2d so we want to make some holes here so select circle 1 2 3 4 5 6 exit select all the holes and make relation equal okay now select this upper three circles make relation horizontal bottom three circles horizontal now this two horizontal this three with origin point horizontal and this two horizontal it's time to define 12 millimeter Twelve millimeter. This one also define twelve millimeter. Let's define this one thirty three millimeter. The same thing here thirty three millimeter. Now you can see the full design is fully defined. Select sorry. Now it's time to extrude cut. now select ok that's it now this is the our main component main plastic component which is going to use for the mold we are going to make the mold cavity and co for this simple part so right click on command manager choose mold tool go to mold tool and first we need to check for any analyze the draft angle so select draft angle and uh, we will choose here direction of pull so it will be pull upward direction while we are making any part you have to decide the angle in which direction component going to pull so we will pull upward direction now once you select this one it will show you positive draft required draft and negative draft negative draft we considered as a cavity so positive draft this one degree is selected but here is still this positive draft not shown here and this uh, this circle cut out so do, we will do some modification select this extruded cut edit and choose here angle draft outward because i'll tell you the, at the assembly okay now for this one also extruded boss base make angle it's going inside so select outward direction because we want outward select ok now again choose analysis draft now select this face now see there is no yellow part there is no any requirement of draft angle so that's fine the our component is ready for the mold and cavity so select ok this red portion shows its cavity uh, we are going to make the cavity for this so first let's save this component go to desktop create one file mold and this is uh, make component save that's it now just go to make assembly from parts now it comes to the assembly select here and your component comes here now first we will make a core for this mold bottom part so
select here new comp new part now we want to sketch so select this face normal and uh, we want to create a body draw a rectangle select this center point and origin center point coincide a smart dimension One sixty millimeter, eighty millimeter. That's fine. Now go to feature, select extruded boss, reverse. Twenty millimeter is enough. Okay. Now see our component inside this body. so what we did uh, here we want to create a cavity so just go to insert mold cavity now here design component our main component we need to select it then only is going to create a cavity inside this mold drop down this menu and select here component this is the scaling we, uh, we don't want to change the percentage of scaling so keep as a original component of origin okay now we are going to create actually this uh, hide this one and you will see now see the cavity created inside and this is the co or you can say co created the same thing that's not uh, now we want to delete this one for our core so how we will do this select this face and click here appearance face we want to just do the transparency so that we will do other operations select here advance il illumination comes down and here you will find transparent amount so choose transparency 50% fine okay now this is the our inside component so select this component a sketch convert entity now this one we want to convert it select extruded cut because we want to cover this hole in core not cavity in core because this core without this hole so now we want to add this core here so we need to delete this other all body then only the core will be available here select here through all select okay now it will ask you which body you want to keep so obviously we want to keep our core select now it will ask you body 1 body 2 see the body 2 is going to inside core is body 2 or the body 1 is outside so but we don't want to keep this one so select body 2 we want to keep core okay now that's it see this is the our core we created a simple core which is this is the base part of die a core of our mold and this is the show see this is the our component so just hide this one and let's complete this one select this face sketch center rectangle A smart dimension. We took, I think, one sixty millimeter and eighty uh, millimeter. That's fine. Go to feature, select extruded boss, and twenty millimeter. That's enough. Even twenty millimeter is more. For mold is more. Select. Okay. Select. exit now select here show component 
now choose your exploded view select this part see this is your mold and component both we created here cancel it now it's time to create the upper part or you can say cavity actual cavity for the our mold so create here new part that's it select this face now this face is already selected choose convert entity now it is asking you select this face and we want to set make convert entity now this face is converted extruded boss base and extrude up to little bigger 20 mm so it covers our cavity select okay see now it's time to create the cavity inside this mold so let's go to insert the same thing what we did for our first part mold cavity we want to create a cavity inside this part so we have to select our first part component and second part because both the parts going to deduct from this part okay now select this uh, third part save uh okay now exit now choose your exploded view 1 2 let's see the mold is created so this is the simple way how to create core and cavity with the help of mold tools in solid works so this is the simple example for the uh, beginners of mold designers so this this is the simple tutorial for the mold many people ask me about this one now what we will do we will save one by one this part we already saved so select this part edit component okay it's asking first save the full assembly okay now select first component save as save as a part okay we already saved before now exit now select this second last component edit save as okay save as a part save exit now select this first part edit we already saved i think i think so let again saved it no problem component mold save exit now animate now see this is the simple example of solid works mold tools i hope you like it don't forget to share and like our video if you have any comment just write down below i'll try to answer each and every question and guys please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solid works thanks for watching